Hi everybody, we're the business systems analysts from the enterprise applications team and this is a video to let you know a little bit about us. I'll start with uh, Keiko Cooper. Um, hi Keiko, could you please answer where you're located, what do you focus on and how long have you been with GitLab? Sure, um, I'm located in um, Duluth, Georgia, which is north of Atlanta, a suburb north of Atlanta. I'm currently focusing on Coupa, and I have been at GitLab, it will be a year um, later next month. Awesome. What is the most fun project you've worked on at GitLab so far? Well, considering I just joined the team, I would have to say Coupa. <laughs> Yay, it's the best one. Yes. <laughs> and how do you feel about working at an all remote company? Do you like it? Um, I love it. That's one of the main things that drew me to GitLab is to have that flexibility to work remotely and to gain back time that I was spending commuting. Um, that's um, valuable to me. Awesome. Thanks, Keiko. Now I'd like to ask you a little surprise question. So when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a vet veterinarian, but um, I realized I don't like the sight of blood. So that quickly changed. That's so funny because that was my choice too when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for answering it. Thank you. And so now we move on to Mark. Mark, um, can you tell us where you're located at? What do you focus on and how long have you been at GitLab? I'm currently located in uh, Philadelphia, uh, but I soon moved to Austin, Texas next month. Um, I focus primarily on the system Zora, uh, which controls our subscription billing and management. Um, and I've been at GitLab since uh, October 2020. I don't know how many months that October. November, summer, January, February, March, April, June. Nine months. I've been at GitLab for nine months. Okay. Um, what's something you think that GitLab does better than previous companies that you've worked at? Um, I think uh, GitLab's mindfulness of like people's uh, time zones and scheduling and like personal obligations and how that fits into the work week is something that. Get, I've actually never seen another company that um, is that mind as as mindful as GitLab. I totally agree with that. Yes. Um, and so, just to get you to know you a little bit better, um, what school activities did you participate in high school? Um, I did like jazz band. Um, that was probably my major, um, like outside of scholastics uh, activity. Um, I wasn't super sporty or anything like that. So it wasn't sports for me. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, it was primarily music. And what instrument did you play? Uh, I played guitar in, in that, in that uh, jazz band as well. OK, well, thank you. Awesome. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> um, all right, so kicking it over to Liz. Uh, I was hoping you'd be able to tell us where you're located, what you focus on, and how long you've been working at GitLab. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Uh, so I'm located in Quito, Ecuador, and I focus on a lot of things. I don't know. <laughs> There's not one thing, but um, I help with operations for the department. And my main focus, I guess, is the people and IT teams. But currently, I'm working on a project program called Supersonics with the fulfillment team. Um, and how long have I been at GitLab? I've been at GitLab since February 2019, so two years and a few months now. Nice. And uh, have you met any of your coworkers? I have, but nobody here. <laughs> I've met, I actually made it to the first, uh, to a uh, contribute two years ago. So that was when I met, uh, I was in the support team back then. So I didn't meet anybody from our team there, but we did have a, 
and offside in December 2019, where I got to meet some people from the IT and data teams. Awesome. And uh, to get to know you a little better, a more informal surprise question. Uh, what was your last regretful purchase? Oh my God, uh, let me think. I'm not one to buy a lot of things. I actually, um, I actually live with my sister. So I, like most of the clothes I wear and stuff are hers. So this is really hard for me. Um, what did I purchase recently? I purchased some pants that, and the zipper keeps going down when I stand up. So I guess that one. <laughs> um, yeah, you cannot really test that, right? Like when you're in the store, like you have to wear it for a long period of time to realize that the zipper just keeps going down. So I have to be very mindful of that when I'm wearing it. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Uh, now we can move over to Courtney. Uh, hi, Courtney. Uh, can you help us answering three questions? Where are you located? What do you focus on? And how long have you been at GitHub? All right, I am originally from New York, but I live in Austin, Texas now. I focus on supporting the sales, sales ops, sales systems kind of teams. I have a background in Salesforce, so trying to help there. And I've been at GitLab for six months now. I started in January, 2021, although it feels like a lot longer. Yeah, um, okay, so, uh... Do you like working at an old remote company? I do. Uh, it's definitely an adjustment at first, but I like the flexibility of it. Um, just being able to like work from anywhere, to travel while you work, uh, work from home. It's really convenient. Yeah, exactly. I love it too. Um, and I guess a fun personal question to get to know you better. Uh, if you could snap your fingers and become an expert at something, what would it be? Um, right now, probably speaking Spanish. I, especially like living in Texas, I would love to learn Spanish and I took French uh, all through school. So that would probably be my choice. Oh, thank you, Courtney. All right, back to our introductory person. I'm gonna kick it over to Barbara. So Barbara, where are you located? What's your focus? And how long have you been at GitLab? So I'm based in Porto, Portugal. Uh, my main focus uh, is to assist the different finance teams by improving their processes and systems. And I've been with GitLab since January 2020. Uh, so it's been a year and a half now. Awesome. Um, what would you say is your favorite part of your day to day job? Um, I really like the fact that I can and well, we also we need to right perform so many different roles during the day. So like for some projects, you can be acting as a project manager where you can do uh, like QA, you know, like testing um, and obviously being the analyst sometimes and meeting a lot of different teams to understand their needs. So I think the fact that you have, you know, like different hats that you need to put it on during your day, that's definitely my favorite part. Cool. Yeah, that's definitely true. All right, my fun question, it's a two-parter. So how long do you think you would survive in a zombie apocalypse? And who on our team do you think would survive longer than you? No one, I'll be, I'll be, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there, you know, or Carol from Walking Dead. They'll be like, school forever. <laughs> no, I think I'll be pretty good at it because I've been preparing for this my whole life. <laughs> So that's my answer. I don't think no one will survive me. <laughs> All right, good to know. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, thanks for watching. If you made it to here, then thanks so much. <laughs> and uh, yes, bye. <laughs> bye. Hi everybody, we're the business systems analyst from the enterprise applications team and this is a little video to let you know, oh, not a little video, this is a video. <laughs> um, I think the, um, sorry, trying to, did. currently located in Philadelphia, but I moved to, um, <laughs> 
I moved to sorry, let me take it again. Um, because I think that caught the video. What did I do? Well, <laughs> wait, are you taking all the laughing. questions? <laughs> Only one I'm question. Three, right? Three. Just I'm one just question one. from three. <laughs> I think GitLab does the. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Um, All right. I think GitLab. <laughs> oh my God, this is the best video ever. <laughs> Let's not ever lose again. If someone else joins the team, it'll be like, no. <laughs> you can do it yourself. Ask the questions and answer them yourself.